Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Thank you all for waiting. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope everyone's well. I'm feeling particularly energized today, so I am quite happy. Let's see, has anything changed with the build? Uh, I'm pretty close to getting to 93. That's one of the main changes so far. I haven't swapped out any of the gear, really. I've removed uh, Righteous Fire from the build just because I don't really end up using it. Uh, but, I mean, you can still use it. Is there anything else I've done? Oh yeah, I moved all the auras back to... Uh, Back to Sandstorm Visage. So all the normal skills are over here in the Tripana now. And I have an Amethyst Flask now, too. I believe that's still, oh, still new. No, I had that last time. I don't think much else has really changed. No, I think everything's about the same. Let's see. No. Uh, I'm going to try something. That's still very quiet. I realized recently that the uh, music's actually quite quiet based on uh, the sound of my voice. So hopefully this will be a little bit better. It, it's between songs. Okay, now it's too quiet. <laughs> There's a different sound volume for y'all than there is for me now. So it's going to be a little bit louder for y'all. Hi, Ron! <laughs> My night's going great. I'm thinking we'll probably go for some mapping first, because I want to see if I can finish off this level. And then I'm thinking we'll probably head back to the Forbidden Sanctum, because I've been enjoying that a lot lately. Darn did change. I was really hoping to keep this as the map it was, but wait no, it did it didn't change. That's the problem. I forgot to or horizons at first. Darn it. <laughs> oh well. Uh elements oh I can't do elemental weakness right now. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting my lightning resistance is actually below cap and it has been for a little bit. <laughs> I need to fix that. One of the uh, ex one of the Eldritch Implicits allows for some resistances. I think it's the Eater of Worlds one. Let me see if I can fix that. Because if I can fix that, it'd be really good.
Life regeneration rate is great, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's also great. Hmm. I don't remember what the... Oh. That's why my hotkeys aren't working, because my macro isn't on. My trade macro. Let's see, where... Eldritch stuff, Eldritch stuff, Eldritch stuff. Okay, so... Resistances are found on... The Searing Exarch Implicit, that's why I can't find it. Okay, there's cold. I want lightning. Fire. No, well, okay. I mean, if it's going to land on something, movement speed's probably good. <laughs> I'll have to fix that and add uh, some more lightning res to it eventually. Oh well. There's nothing to do eventually. Okay, we're not doing elemental weakness, because I would prefer to stay alive. Wait, actually, no, hold on a second. I can fix that. Uh, where is it? What should I cut? Uh, I'll cut a tiny bit of health. How much resistance cannot be lowered by curses? Okay, we can do elemental, elemental weakness now. Cool. I don't want to be down to like 50% lightning res or something. That would be stupid. I mean, it's stupid that I'm below cap to begin with, but... Uh, gear is hard. Especially in the situation I am in with uh, my resistances. They're just not incredibly good right now. Having a hard time keeping up with what I need versus the amount of gear I have. Mainly because I need dex on my amulet, but I also need lightning res on my amulet. <laughs> or not amulet, uh, ring. Unless I can somehow change that, but... Yeah. Go away. Whoa! Something's lagging me. What am I doing that is lagging me so badly? Oh, okay. The stream is playing back to myself, which is not useful. Okay, that probably will help a bit. Cool. Yeah, it should be fixed. Uh, no, okay. Always check your fall side areas to see if there's a increased XP gain. Because it can be up to 150% increased XP gain, which is very, very nice. A locked door. Not as familiar with Plaza. Things feel oddly fast right now. Maybe I'm just imagining it.
Embers, good, I'm going to need those. Oh, I forgot to ask. How are you doing today, Ron? And anyone else here, I guess, too. <laughs> okay, I do not like this boss. This is one of the most dangerous bosses in maps, in my opinion. Uh... I'm doing something very specific right now. Okay. There, <laughs> this boss has like a laser thing it can shoot you with, so it's important to keep like a pillar or something between you and it, which is why I was like hiding on the edge of the arena. I'm glad that you're having a chance to relax at least. important to take time to relax. I say, uh, oblivious of the irony, <laughs> I can be a bit of a workaholic. Relaxing is probably the hardest thing for me. I, it's, it's really, it's really bad. <laughs> So how's the volume between my voice and the music right now? I noticed this song's a bit louder than the last one. I want you to still be able to understand me. And as long as you can understand me reasonably well, the volume of the music's fine. That's good. I appreciate your help with that. It's kind of hard for me to be able to tell on my own because, I mean, I have to be actively talking while listening to myself, and I have to use an alternate browser besides the one that I interact with Twitch on. Because this current browser is set up for music. And that means that any sound that gets routed through it immediately comes out on stream. So you'll hear me double. Or potentially triple, I don't know. It's a bit of a mess, but it's how I figured out how to do things so far. I might be swapping out uh, how I do music at some point, though. I would kind of like to. 93%. Okay, got 6% there. I need 7% more. Didn't take too long. Okay, maps. Maps, 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 maps. Vault. Okay, yeah, I can do that one. Dream by El Elamino. Oh. Man, I would really love it if I could get a currently playing thing going on. 
So it, I, it could say what I'm currently listening to, so you know what the name of the songs are. Because the Outer Tones song I'm listening to right now are really, really good. Outer Tones is an amazing company. I'm really happy that they just put up so much music for free that is so high quality. One of these days I'll actually be... Uh... Sacred Orb. What the hell is a Sacred Orb? <laughs> it's worth 18. Oh! This this affects the... Um... Okay, this affects the... Uh... Base percentile? Okay. That is a, a complicated and annoying mechanic I don't want to explain. <laughs> well, no, it's actually not that bad. Basically, every piece of equipment has a, a base percentile between 0% and 100%, and the higher the base percentile, the better the version of that item is going to be. Specifically, the defense is on the item, nothing else. Uh, I'll take more Elder Chickors. Thank you very much. 5% chance to drop an Ichor on death. Okay. I have to be careful, though, because they have four, four additional projectiles from that. And, yeah. So they have a minimum of five projectiles right now each. Which is dangerous. And I might regret that, so I'm going to try to be careful. That's a very easy thing to end up regretting. Especially with these sorts of monsters. These ones are the worst. What are they? The Consuming Thralls? They like they follow they fire a barrage, so it's really dangerous giving them extra projectiles. They're like auto shotguns, basically. I wonder how many people actually understand why I I use Nico, despite the fact that he's currently not giving me anything. For those who are wondering why I put Nico missions on most of these, it's because of uh, sulfide intoxication, which gives you increased movement speed, damage, and max res elemental resistances per thing a sulfide node you hit. So I don't actually use any of my sulfide ever. It is purely just, I have it for the sulfate intoxication, nothing else. Which is why I have bonuses to Nico missions and nothing else as well. Micro distillery. Echor. Nope. That. Please take it out. I don't want to be in the line of fire of these things. They're just too dangerous. So I'm trying to play it really safe. And that is Shrine. Okay, I should be able to grab it now. I have the doubled shrine boost now, so I get an extra shrine effect each time. So I have a shrouded shrine for blinding things nearby, and I have an impenetrable shrine, which increases all my defenses. I'm going to have so many Ichors after this, with the 5% chance to drop it on death. Or 5% chance to gain it on kill, I should say. It's more accurate. I sound like when I die, I gain, of course. 
wouldn't be a very good system. Uh, sure, you can have cold and lightning resistance. That does not that does not hinder me in any way. What is this? Okay, that's weird. Boss time. Then I can worry about the rest of the stuff in the level. Whoa. Bit of a mess over there. Rather leave that to the totems to deal with. You good? You look good. Okay. Ah. Firestorm. There we go. I love this map because you get to click on all the treasure piles. Treasure, treasure, treasure. What can I click on? Treasure pile. Ooh, primordial. Nice. Treasure pile. Reminds me of the... Uh, what are they called? The vaults from Diablo 3. That was a good game. I know there's a lot of hate for, for the Diablo series in Path, but I genuinely did like it. It's a lot more simple than Path, but, I mean, that also has its own charm. Especially because this game is overly complicated at best times. But that's also why I like it. That complexity allows me to make builds that are just bizarre and stupid and amazing. for all the landmines. I naturally get excited whenever I see the yellow patches, because those used to be way more valuable than the other ones. But they're all the same value now. Or at least I believe they are. Let's see. Yep, they're all about the same value. Both... 30 to 1, or, wait, 1 to 30? Yeah, 1 to 30. So this is about 8C, I think? Harvest has always been a very lucrative thing. Nope. No explosions, please. Only I make explosions. Okay, two more percent I need. Cassia! Help me. Oh. Uh. I don't like that. Oh, I might need to dip out of this one. I don't like it when they come from every side. That's really bad. Okay, let me grab you. Uh-oh. No, don't lag out on me! 
please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, please don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't care about the mission. Oh wow. The the pump survived that, apparently. Yay, level 93. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I won that after having to ditch it. That's pretty awesome. Okay. I'm surprised that went so well. When there's an open area and ev and there's just like multiple areas multiple routes that go all these different directions it's often a write-off uh let's see is there anything i can grab quickly that matters yeah i guess i'll just grab health Health is not never bad. Now to the Wildwood. I am doing the Wildwood last intentionally right now. I've noticed that doing the Wildwood adds an average of four to five tiers worth of difficulty to a map with the empowerment. So I've been very careful about that. Maybe if I was... If I was Chaos Immune, I probably would be much more willing to do a whole ton of Wildwood stuff. But... Yeah. It's all, which is kind of sad, because, like, I really love the Wildwood. It's actually... It's amazing mechanic, in my opinion. It's really fun. But I have been kind of avoiding it, just because it is overtuned right now. At least it is, in my opinion. No. God, so many explosive chaos toads. i to make sure there's none, like, appearing under my feet. I hate the chaos creatures. Cool. More explosions, please? Yeah, I'll I'll see what I can do. <laughs> if I can make more explosions, I usually try to make more explosions. Why, why do I have a no random white item? What happened with that? Why do I have white items? Oh, I must have picked those up accidentally earlier. Oh, well. No, I want that. Let's see. I can upgrade this to a tier 16. Oh, I have a boss fight to do. There's going to be more explosions. It will be here. Okay, who do we have? I recognize Tunnel Trap. Not don't know which which one that is. Uh the Crimson Temple boss. Oh the uh I think it's courtyard. 
for you. That might be Jurassa, I'm not sure. Oh, and the uh, Drought Madden Roa from Bog. I'll focus on the Sanguine Siren. Don't care so much about the Roa. Who are you? Oh. I don't know which map you're from, but I know where you roughly are from. That is Dresso! Okay, Maven, okay. I'll get you more stuff. More things to kill. Ooh, let's do our first Guardian. Haven't done any Shaper or Elder Guardians yet this league. Cool, I can do that. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. No. Darn it. So I'll up that so I have a higher chance to avoid elemental ailments. There we go. I don't intend to immediately change that one, so... Why am I back here? What am I doing with myself? Who am I? <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some extra stuff to the map. Let's see. Well, it already is Eldritch Influence. I can probably add Shaper Influence and some Harbingers... And maybe we can make the map easier. Mm. Nah. I'll just go with what I have. And hmm. I think I'll go X Arch because it's better for. I think X Arch is better for this build. Oh, I can't add Shaper Influence to a Eldritch map. I was wondering if I could just dual influence the map, but no, that's not how this works, I guess. But I think... I think the uh, Searing X-Arch is Fire and Chaos, and... Fire and Physical, maybe? And the Eater of Worlds is Cold and Lightning? I'm better against Fire and Physical than Golden Lightning, so... And I think they both have some amount of chaos in them, actually. That would make more sense. Okay. Tiny bit laggy. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Lag is somewhat stopped. No, nope, there it is again. Man. Oh, uh, it's because there's there's so much going on. There's Elder stuff, and there's a Harbinger, and there's about to be Searing Exarch stuff. Oh, there's Cassia that was there, and there's the Wildwood there. <laughs> okay, there's the X-Arch. Oh, cool, my Blade Vortex is ready to level up. Money. Just extra thing them leveling for money. Actually, 
Actually, I can do that. Cool. Oh yeah, I now have all my ores in my helmet, so I don't have to worry about my ores turning off when I weapon swap. That's cool. Off topic, but I almost just exploded a bottle of Sprite all over my hotel bed. Oh no! <laughs> that would have sucked. I can just imagine the housekeeping at whatever time of night it is, just being like, ah, oh, fuck. We have to go do what? <laughs> oh. I'm glad that things did not go as badly as they could have. Ooh, I see lots of maps. I like lots of maps. Uh, oh, man, lots of maps. Oh, that's really good. I've been kind of low on... Uh, I've been kind of low on uh, tier 14 plus maps lately, so I'm happy to have the chance to get some more. Come back for you later, Trial Master. If I don't forget. I want to find and kill the Guardian first. Hey, I did three rounds last time because I was trying to get XP only. And they really designed the Trial Master good, because, like, his goading gets to me sometimes. I'm like, I can do more than that. <laughs> so petty and stupid. Nope, that is a large amount of... Very large amount of monsters. Okay. No. Go away. This game does not like having Searing Exarch stuff appearing while Harbinger stuff is appearing, while also the Elder is doing things. <laughs> oh. Oh, a blunder bore. I think. It's a blunder bore. With a max shrine buff. A pretty decent rolled strength requirement, too. Oh, that is actually worth about 5c. It's nice. I mean, having a lesser brutal and a lesser massive shrine on you at all times is pretty fucking good. Gotta be a bit careful, because this guy can kill me. Very much so.
still only have so much damage. Ooh. Fragment of enslavement. And incandescent invitation. Ooh. Awesome. I wonder if Elder Pieces are still worth as much as they used to be. Yeah, they're still worth a fair bit! Looks like they're all in the 40s. Very, very much worth it to do Guardians. Specifically, the other guardians are worth a lot of money. Okay, who did I leave behind? Oh, altar. Chance to drop greater ichor or embers. That's nice. That's nice. Very nice. Okay, Cassia. Oh, there's an entire section of the map I just did not do anything with. Okay. Cold. Physical. Physical. Cold. I'm going to put some over there, and some over there, and there. Ooh, I'm starting to get a bit of a pile there. What's that? Oh, it's dead now. What is that? That is dead. <laughs> Ooh. Lots of currency. Oh. Oh, my inventory is full. I was like, wait, these aren't being picked up. What's going on? Uh. Is that over there for a second? I don't know why I'm being so careful with my portals. I'm like, no, I don't want to go back and waste a portal. I can just go back. It's fine. I don't have to worry so much. So many maps. Love to see it. I actually have, like, a decent amount of red maps now. That's nice. Just like struggling to maintain tier 13s when I can do tier 16. It's very frustrating. Okay, desert. Back we go. Okay, I'm going to go into the Wildwood. I 
I got some recommendations on some changes I can make to my streaming setup recently, and I haven't been able to work on them yet, but I am kind of excited because theoretically they will be able to benefit me a lot. I have a lot of things that are still kind of default with... Oh my god, that's a lot of... Wow, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> How much is that? I think it's 25C worth of life, life force right there. I'd rather just... I'd rather do life... Or harvest stuff in, in here rather than going into an actual harvesting counter. So much nicer here. Anyways, um, I have a lot of stuff that's kind of default set up with uh, streaming, just because I am still pretty new to it. I mean, I've only been doing this eight months, and that's, I mean, maybe that's a long time, I don't know, but it still feels like it's a short amount of time for me. Ah, exploding frogs. Why are there so many of them? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, imperfect, 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 primal. What? I haven't seen this one before. Okay, yeah, none of them are worth anything. It's a strange mechanic where you can go and buy corpses. Feels weird. Deafening etching. Okay, I was going to see what that was, but I clicked on the wrong thing. Damn it. Let's go find the trial master. I see him off there. Oh. Okay, those do not connect. No, they're not. They're they are exploding, but they're not friend frogs. They're enemy frogs. They're they're danger fog. The forgs of danger. I don't, I don't appreciate how much you can. They just stack that skill up where it just keeps going and going and going and going. Okay. Razor Dance up. Oh, Stone Circles. I should have checked to see which version this was. I hate Stone Circles. My build is better at killing things quickly than it is at standing in a circle for a while. Thankfully, you can wander out of it and back in, and you don't lose any progress. That rating title is nice. The level the razor dance. Okay. Trigger those blistering cold so I don't have to worry about them. Ooh, an offering. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm glad that you like Borg too. Hey, I love them. I do. They're very, they're very fun. It's a fun skill. It's just also a very dangerous skill to deal with. On the other end, I would love to just be able to have cast on frog. That would be my favorite. That would just be my favorite way to play. <laughs> Where's the last one? There it is. Gas blows up. Gem cutters. Get some more blistering cold. That's fine. Ah. No. Load, please. Need to get rid of all that blistering cold so I can stand in the area. Ah. 
Okay, this is starting to get dicey. Eh. Very happy I can go outside the arena and back in as much as I need to. Eh. Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. Getting real rough. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just going to tap out. No reason to take pointless risks. That's pretty good, though, because that was a... Uh... Wait, what tier was that? Oh, yeah, that was a, that was a tier 16 Delirium with uh, Wildwood Empowerment on them. And I got to round seven or eight. That is pretty darn good. Okay, now let's do something special. My first Searing X-Arts of the League. I feel like I haven't killed the Searing X-Arts since last league. Wait. No, I mean, I guess it's my first one in the league. Of course I haven't killed it since the last league. I mean, I haven't killed it since I killed the, my first one last league. I thought he was calling me Hatchling for a second, and then I realized that he's talking about the Maven. Nope. 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 Mm, no, I'm good. Oh, fuck, I forgot! That's the big explosion! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's his balls! I have to deal with his balls! Ah! I'm so bad at dealing with the X-Arch's balls. He just has so many balls. The 36 bald creature. Wow, I suck at this! <laughs> nope. 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 I don't want to be annihilated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah! Oh, I got a f Flesh and Blame. Oh my god, that's Conviction of Power! Oh, fuck. Um. Uh. You can't see what I'm, sh what I'm doing. Hold on, I need to show you this. Okay, I just transitioned to the new scene. This is what Price Checker says. Forty-three divine. This is worth a third of a headhunter. Or a tenth of a mirror. That is I think this is actually the single most valuable thing that's ever dropped for me. I know that this is valuable because I've looked at Power of Conviction before to try to get it on Forbidden Flesh and Play and been like, no, that's one of the ones I just ignore because it's impossible to get because it's too expensive. Wow. Okay, so that's a lot of money. Transition back to the other screen. Okay. Oh, I mean, I have to sell it, but like, fuck, that's going to be... Super, super... That's going to be a lot of money.
Uh, I'm going to very quickly just check the trade site for this. just want to make sure that I am have the best concept of what's going on. Okay, count. Okay, conviction of power, conviction of power. Wait, there aren't... Hold on, what? Oh, okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so the flesh are 20 div apiece. And the flames are at 43. So I guess I will go 42 div for this. Why the hell not? Actually, the only flames on the market have all been listed within the hour. That actually might suggest that I should list this higher. Hmm. I'll list it on par with the lowest one. Also got a Dawnbreaker. Are you worth anything? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Supposedly this is worth 19c. Wait, no, not that. Oh, wow, that's a 2x4 shield. Oh, it's a tower shield, that's why. I forget that tower shield's a 2x4. Man, okay, so that's like... That's a big fucking deal. How much are headhunters right now? Um... I'll just have to check that manually. Kiwi Ninja. Headhunters are 165 chaos. So that is a quarter of a headhunter then. And mirrors. Oh, uh, that I ha that math I have to do. Mirrors are worth 118,000 chaos. Which equals how much are divines right now? Divines are about 215 right now. Okay, so mirrors are, are 548. So that's 1 11th of a mirror. It's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of money, is, is the moral of that story. Man, okay. Uh, if that sells, if that sells, then I'm going to buy, okay, <laughs> my heart skipped a beat for a second because I thought that was, that was the Forbidden Blush play I'm selling. Uh, <laughs> if that sells, I'm going to buy the rest of my build. And I mean, like, every expensive, nice, pretty item I want for the build. Okay, we also have a Void Stone. Void Stones just upgrade the tier of that the maps drop at so that more things are tier 16. So all tier 15s now drop as tier 16s, and all like tier 1s drop as tier 2s and such. 
Or, no, they don't. I thought it only increased by one. No, that's not how that works. Okay, so I guess every... All tier 14 plus drop is tier 16s, and everything is a minimum tier 4 now. What do you mean by Forg? I can't buy Forg. Fork no friend. Forks are only enemies. I wish there was some way. Actually, I'm curious. So if you go in the shop, are there any frog microtransactions? Frog. Mm. I know I misspelled Forg, but it's okay. Oh, there's lots of Forgs I could get. Oh my gosh, this one has a crown! Oh, I love him! Oh, I want him as my friend. But he's also five dollars. He's also five fifty. <laughs> That's a lot of money for a single fucking little frog to follow you around. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe at some point. I'll have to think about that one. Oh, Deep Water Fork. Oh my gosh, he has a little helmet on. Oh, he makes me so happy. <laughs> oh. Nah, I don't like the hypnotic toads as much. Ice Fork. Fire Fork. Awesome Fork. Oh my gosh, it's Kermit. Kermit has become royalty. Also, the way that they designed this kind of makes it look like they badly photoshopped the crown on. Like, the, the sprite isn't properly rotated. There's like a there's a space right here. Actually, they re that they did some questionable cutting around the feet too. So I uh, sorry, I'm a graphic designer, so I notice these things immediately cuz I'm familiar with doing this stuff too. And I mean, toes and fingers are very hard to cut around when you're trying to uh cut out backgrounds, but eh. I might at some point get this. We'll have to. We'll. We'll. I'll think about that one. What I ideally would like is there's often a special where like, oh, if you buy a, if you buy a thing, then, um, if you buy a thing, then you get a free box. And if that's the case, if that pops up, then I'll do. I might do that because it'll give me the chance to get a free box as well. You know, just maximizing the amount of money I spend. Okay. What time is it? Been going for an hour and fifteen minutes. Okay. I'm going to do a sanctum because they, I will run out of time if I'm not careful. This is a tier 14 sanctum. That's the high. I've not done that high before. Highest I think is a tier 7 or 8 I've done. Let's see how high I can go. I'll be at the reliquary room in the sanctum vaults. Need to remember to do that. Uh, okay, so I can add something to this. 
you know what, I'll add this, because you know, I might get uh, double boss coins, assuming that they're considered monsters and not... I don't know how that works necessarily, but I'm going to put it there. Confirm. Man, that... <laughs> That that was such a good drop to get. I'm still like, <sighs> it's lucky enough to get a forbidden flesh and flame, flesh or flame to begin with, but to get one of the crazy ones is really quite something. Oh yes, I can tell the difference immediately between this and the other versions because I'm not instantly killing things anymore. Okay. Let's be careful now. Okay, so it d does not look like the coins scale up based on the tier you're in. Okay, defeat all the guards. I'm lucky I did not get hit. Ooh. I'll take 20 crumbs. That's definitely worth more than 30 chances. Okay. Uh... Oh, these all suck to deal with. I'm going to go for the major treasure and then up to red smoke. I don't like red smoke, but, I mean, whatever. It's the lesser of the evils. Yeah, keep that frozen, will you? Okay. Yeah. Apparently there's another rare monster around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Oh god, okay. No, I did not see the unique. That could have been a really big problem. I'm lucky that that did not do as m any more damage than it did. I only lost 7 resolve for that, so that's pretty good for that sort of mistake. Okay, 350 coins. Nope, leave me alone. It is much harder to avoid getting hit when you don't one-shot things. Honestly, I don't know what the difference is between doing a low-level Sanctum and a high-tier high Sanctum. Like... Are there better rewards? Because as far as I can tell, the the chests give the same amount, both like the big chests and the small chests. So, No, don't hit me. That was far closer than I would have liked. I 
Ah, shit, I walked entirely through that. So something interesting about the skulls here is their turning radius is really bad once they start firing, but before they start firing, their turning radius is, like, instant. So you need to wait till they start firing before you can, like, before you can maneuver around them most of the time, so you want to, like, bait them to attack as soon as possible. Oh, not fucking no, no Phoenix Wings. No, thank you. That will negate my freeze, and that is, like, the most important thing I have. For mitigation, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm starting to get comfortable with these rooms. I feel like I can manage it now. Hmm. Arms of Alchemy are not worth nearly as much as the other stuff is. Also inflict resolve weakness on hit. I don't know what that is. Find the exit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, what can I get? Deal less damage. Next 10 guards you hit are killed instantly. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't think that's worth it, because I'm not close enough to the end that this would be great. I don't want to lose maximum resolve, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. This will do nothing to me. Just so that I can access this. I'm putting a lot on the end of the Sanctum, which I really don't like doing, but... I mean... I don't know, it's, it's the best I can do. Find the exit. Ooh, Astro Plate, nice. Fractured stuff. Oh, Fractured Max Fire Res. No, not worth anything. Nope! That could have been a problem. <laughs> nope. I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> It, like, leapt at me as I walked through the door. Uh, ooh, 12 orbs of horizon. I cannot turn that down. And then the easy room. Oh. Um, you are going to have to wait. Actually, I can duck out of the sanctum as soon as... I kill the boss here. Ooh, he is much, 
more dangerous at this level than... Okay, so I can duck out in a second. Ten chaos, nice. So I'm between levels, so I can duck out. Uh, I did not mean to go to the bridge encampment, but I guess I'm at the bridge encampment now. That's a thing. That old chest plate. Bye bye. Okay, back to the sanctum. I'm honestly really surprised how much I enjoy the sanctum. Honestly, like, the, uh, what I was doing, like, whatever the build I had, I, when the Sanctum originally came out, probably just was not good enough to deal with it. Which is probably what happened. Yeah, I'll go from here to here. Okay. Nope. There's a cache. Nope, go away. Exit, 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 exit! <laughs> I misclicked twice! Could have been a problem. Okay. I'll go through... Mm. I would love to go to a merchant, but I mean, I if I do, I could just take floor attacks because if I want the merchant, I have to go through here instead of going through the volatile anomaly one. Whatever, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nope. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Everyone, leave me alone. Uh, do I have any benefit? No, I don't seem to have any benefits for taking the fountain, so I'm not going to. Merchant. I really love to remove the red smoke. That makes so I can't tell what the room types are, but that's not necessarily a thing I'll get to do. Is this the right one? No, this is not. Ah. Hide. See them. Okay, there we go. Nope, not that one. Must be over here. Oof. Okay. That's definitely not worth it. 
100 inspiration at the start of each floor. That sounds really nice. Or traps are slower. No, I, I'll be fine with the traps. 100 inspiration at the start of each floor. That's really neat. It's going to be really nice. Rather than rushing through things, I can actually just kill stuff. That might be a better choice. Whoa. Okay. Eh. I heard something charging something off the screen. I was like, eh. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I, I do not want Venus wings. I guess I'm going to take this one so I can go to, for Mark of Terror. I don't actually know what resolve weakness is, but I just assume you take more resolve damage on hits. And if I can avoid taking hits, then theoretically that should be fine. I just need to avoid taking hits. There we go. Oh, not this guy. I hate the ones that duplicate themselves. Money! Oh shit, this is a uh, defeat of the guards. I was looking at the room layout and I was like, and my brain was like, oh, this is a, uh, uh, just a uh, find the exit one. No, so I need to actually make sure I kill things. Aren't I walked into that rolling magma? Okay, you're the last one. Wait, can I just teleport? Oh my god, I can just teleport to the end. <laughs> okay, this one is a find the exit. Okay, out I go. Okay, I need to... Okay, I won't get a chance to spend my money. Okay, so coins don't matter because they're going to get erased at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the area. Or at the end of the map. When I killed the, the floor boss! That's what I'm trying to say. Nope, grenades everywhere. Don't like. Marsh of the Legion dropped. Grab you. Boss. I'll see how hard these bosses are now that I'm doing a much more powerful area. Ow, what? I got hit by something. The disadvantage of... of having just killed everything instantly 
up until now is that I don't know any of the abilities of these monsters. So I don't even know what I got hit with there in that boss fight. Wow, I have 61 stilling orbs now? I did just get 16, but wow. How much is that worth? About 25 chaos. Wow, okay. When did that happen? <laughs> Oh, this rolled actually quite well. Oh, except for the ore gems, which rolled very poorly, so never mind. Okay, Angry Fangs, Unhallowed Amulet, Black Smoke. Hmm. And I'll take Hungry Fangs. Oh, and I got my increase. I got my extra inspiration because it's a new floor. Oh, that's not the ex Oh, that's... <laughs> wow, I walked in a circle and I found the entrance again. I'm like, hey, it's the exit! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Ah! No! Wow, I just lost half my inspiration. That's pretty bad. Especially because I don't even need to fight these guys. I don't like whatever that is. Nope, leave me alone. Hmm. Move marker tear, gain a new random minor affliction, get a major boon. Major boons are very powerful. Oh, okay, I'm going to take this. Please be a good major boon. You cannot receive any more ma minor afflictions! Yes! Okay, that means that I can... Oh, that's awesome! Okay, I can't re re receive any more minor afflictions, which means I can take this, which will only remove one, it will not give me another one, because it, I cannot gain any more. That's awesome. Okay, so now I, I should be taking as many Cursed Packs as I can, because if I gain uh, disadvantages from them uh, in exchange for an advantage, I just get the advantage. In a lot of cases. Up here, so I can go after the Orb of an Element. Speed out the guards. Okay. Oh, this one I'm kind of worried about because there's a lot of running around in circles. And everything's quite powerful now because this is a higher level area. I totally walked into that. Ooh. Yeah, this is much harder. I'm still not really seeing much reason to pick a higher tier or like a higher monster level area for the sanctums though it doesn't seem to benefit much oh okay so either i can pick the annulment one or i can go here and pick the exalt one i'm gonna go through the fountain 
Because exalts are generally worth more than annulments. Annulments are worth like 8, and exalts are worth like 13. Nope. Don't like that. Oh shit, I did not see that, that explosion spawn underneath me. That's not good. Uh... This is getting much, much harder, and I have a lot of things running, like, focused on actually beating the Sanctum, so I need to be so much more careful than I am being. More careful or just playing better? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not playing as, as well as I need to, unfortunately. Okay. So I think... I think I'm going to be okay because I'm going to go do a fountain now. That will recover some of my resolve. Okay, so I'll go through here and then I'll go straight to the Afflicted Fountain since I can't get Manor Afflictions anymore. Find the exit. Ooh, okay. Two exalts. Divine! Oh, fuck. That's at the end of the... That's at the end of the Sanctum. I still have another... I'm halfway through this floor and I have another floor after this too to do. Oh, that's gonna be hard. And since it's at the end of the Sanctum, that means that... Eh, that means that... I pro that's probably at least two divine, not one. Ow. Ah. Darn it, that's not the way out. Away. Please. Yep. Okay, good. Now I can take this. Okay, no affliction, because the major boon. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm so worried. <laughs> I just, I need to play as carefully as I can right now. Because I have Divines on the line now. Or I will as soon as I complete this area. So, I have Divines on the line now as far as I'm concerned. Take them out, please. Okay. Okay, someone's there. Nope, I'm leaving. Okay, my totem should be fighting over there. Yep, I see them firing. I see the purple in the corner. Put some more up there. Put some more up there. Still firing. Nope, stopped. Okay, so there's someone over there now. Nope. Wow, they're pretty precise with those grenades. I do want this to be interesting content. I'm trying to find, like, a happy medium between hiding completely 
and also still being able to play well by like showing you what I'm doing rather than just hiding in the corner. Yeah, okay, whatever it is is still alive. I see you. There we go. Wah! <laughs> Did not see that one coming. There's still someone else up there, right there. Yeah. Oh, they must have been just out of range of my totems. I, I saw my totems had not were not firing, so I was like, oh, must be safe. No, not exactly. <laughs> Two divines, yep. Yeah. That's 430 chaos. 430 chaos plus another 30 for exalts, 260. 74. The vote! There's about 500 chaos worth of stuff on the line now. Oh, gosh. Okay. I see someone's over there. I can't teleport through this gap, can I? Gonna hide over here. Guys, I, saw co I heard coins drop. Okay. Oh, there's a skull over there. That's a problem. I see the fire in the corner of it blast trying to blast me. Ooh. Ooh, this is so tense right now because there's just so much money on the line now. Oh yeah, let's 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 add another. I don't know how much seconds are worth right now. Let's add another 50, 40 chaos on or whatever. If they're worth four chaos a piece. That's four times six is not fifty, but you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Oh, this boss is going to be a pain in the ass. Um... Nope. I need to be careful. This is a lot of Innocence's attacks, too. Ow. That was 20 resolve damage. Plus his fireballs, I don't like that. Oh, I didn't manage to avoid that! <sighs> okay, I lost like 30 resolve on that, so that's actually not as bad as it could have been. Oh gosh, okay. Because this is the last floor. That's a lot of money on the line! <laughs> so, since this is the last floor, something worth noting is that anything that says you get the reward at the end of the floor is the exact same now as the end of the Sanctum. So, you pick whichever one is, is better. If end of the floor is better, you pick it. If end of the sanctum is better, you pick it, because they're going to get them both at the exact same time. Okay. What's this candlestick thing I got? Quantity of relics dropped by monsters. Maximum resolve. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That's really good.
that's definitely going on next time. Man, maximum resolve, that's really nice. Okay. We are going to take a quick break, and then we are going to come back and we are going to do the last floor of the Sanctum and see whether we gain or lose 500 chaos. Back soon.
And we're back, everyone. Who's still alive out there? Okay, I actually have to open the sanctum to go into the sanctum. Funny how that works. Wait, what? Oh my god, there's another there's another divine orb. <laughs> okay, well I have to go he oh fuck, I have to choose between negative maximum resolve and Oh god no. <laughs> oh that's that might actually be too greedy then. I I can't take either of these. Wait, no, these are these are minor afflictions. These are minor afflictions, I think. I can't get more minor afflictions. Uh, let me check. Okay. Uh Okay, we can flesh. Yeah, we can flesh is a minor affliction. So is Fiendish Wings. Okay. Whoo, I can do both. Okay, okay, good. I'm really happy I got that major boon. It was totally worth it. What? That better not have fucking lost me the run, or I'm gonna be absolutely fucking pissed. Um. I really hope it saved that. I wasn't in a room yet. Please. Oh, thank gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. I don't need to freak out. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Technical difficulties. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know what just happened. I totally... I completely dropped. Well, like, my internet dropped. It was almost like it was dropping because of the Sanctum, but that doesn't make any sense. Unless, if I hit this button and my internet drops again, then I'll know what's wrong. Okay, no. Yeah, no, I, that, that wouldn't make any sense anyways. Well, hi everyone again. <laughs> oh god, I hate this one. Oh no. Oh, thank gosh, I got the extra 100 inspiration. Because I started the new floor. No! 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 Don't like this. I really hate these. These are so hard to avoid things in. Okay, I lost 43 inspiration, but that's fine. I can run. Another divine orb. Okay, I have like 700 chaos now in the line. What could possibly go wrong? You know what, I'm gonna go through here, get the minor treasure, and then go to the benevolent fountain.
Okay, good. It's just the meteors. I can handle the meteors. The meteors are fine. They suck, but they're fine. The biggest problem is the other stuff. Like, the skull is really bad, because it, it, like, forces you into an area. If you pay attention to where... If you're able to manage where the meteors are, like, mentally, then you'll be fine. But with the skull, like... There's more than just management involved in it, I find. Like, the genu genuinely will put you in bad spots. Okay, I only lost 14 resolve with that. Ow. Oh, I didn't actually lose anything from that somehow. Okay. Maybe because the, the room's complete, I didn't lose take any resolve damage. I don't know if that's how it works or not. Okay, I need to get to... Oh, I have, a, I have a lot of coins now, okay. I think the Benevolent Founds are either 150 or 250 to use. And I need to use them to get everything back if I can. Okay, so there's someone over there. Nope. Leave me alone. I'm just going to play this super, super, super safe. Ooh, he almost got me there. Oh, he, they did get me! Oh no, I'm out of inspiration. That's bad. Nope. Okay, so I can jump over here, but I do have to deal with some danger. Ready to jump as soon as I need to. Alright. Is it down here? Or is this just, no, it's just a random dude. Okay. I think I have four, totem, four or five totems on something. It's enough to perma-stun it, but... No! I, I got stuck for a second. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. It's down. Uh, trigger the skull to the right, go to the left. I'm gonna try to rush this. Shit, this is the wrong way. No, 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 no! I'm in line of sight. Okay, I dodged through, thankfully. Okay, oof. Okay, all my Oris coins will now be doubled. That's not really that important. I got a little bit of resolve back, but not very much. I kind of was hoping for a bit more than that. Okay, I'm going to go for the Fountain and then the Accursed Pact, since I can't get any more Minor Afflictions because of Crystal Chalice. So, I'll probably be able to get... Oh, shit. Not this room. Oh, that was bad. That was a really bad hit to take. My run, my end here.
About 700 chaos gone. If I hadn't taken that one hit, I might have been able to survive it. Man, that's... Oh... Okay. Well, shit happens. Just gonna have to keep getting better at the game. Fortunately, I am still very much new to Sanctum. Do a low-level one. Actually, do we have time for that? We don't actually have time for that. We will do a map or two, though. That's what we do have time for. A full Sanctum takes like an hour, so... Don't really want to spend a full hour. I also appreciate that you don't lose, like, since you aren't dying or lose resolve, you aren't actually losing XP. That is really, really, really nice. And that, that hurts so much, losing so much money. Damn it. Ugh! It was so much money! And I thought it was bad when I lost the Herald of Scourge and lost one divine. That was three divine. That's just... Oh. That's crushing. I mean, I still have earned so much money this one stream... That there's no real reason to be bothered, because, like, I am so far into the black now with how much money I've earned. But, ah. Uh, but my greed! My greed! I was too greedy! I wanted more! Oh, I'm still I'm still playing as if I can't get hit. <laughs> I mean, that's probably a good way to play. It's the safest way to play, that's for sure. Rather than just walking into things. I actually have an impenetrable shrine on right now, so, like, I actually could wander into things a lot more than I usually... Never mind, I'm just gonna stay away from everything! Oh, that, that really hurt. Okay. Regeneration and execution. Let's see about this other area. Okay. I hate Prox Shield. But it's okay, because I have Sulfite Intoxication and extra shrines. I never, like, appreciated how important having extra shrine duration was, but it actually is a really big deal. And this this stream has been like some real highs and lows.
getting like an obscenely valuable item and then losing a, like a veritable like Scrooge McDuck style vault of currency. Ugh. Oh, I just had a terrible thought. I wonder how many years it's going to be till we have a new generation who does not know who Scrooge McDuck is. <laughs> I mean, not that it matters. Like, it's just a random reference, but... I don't know. I don't know why... I don't know why that matters. Like, to but things from your childhood kind of just are forgotten by new generations. I don't know why I actually care. Curses are reflected back at you. No. <laughs> Not taking that. Take more orbs of binding. Seeing as that doesn't have any downsides, since armor does not protect you from elemental ailments and such. And elemental damage or chaos damage. Is this, wait, is this there up or down? Okay, this is up. Okay. For a second I was like, wait, did I just walk all the way back to the start again? Like I have a tendency to do? <laughs> yeah, I know you are old enough to know who Scrooge McDuck is. Don't try to pull that shit on me. You know, I think this build might be able to naturally level to 95. I have yet to be able to get a build to naturally level beyond 95. Oh, here is the uh, pirate song for you, Ron. I say that like I don't like it, too. I love it, but... <laughs> Hmm. I still need to redo Reef and Temple. See if I can get them. Reef. Please. Please. There we go. Oh my gosh, that took so many horizons. <laughs> Arg me booty. Me booty is dummy thick. Okay, I can do both of these. And add a bunch of influence to these maps. Oh, wait, no, not that. Do I want to capture the Brain King to fight? Mmm, I don't know if I want to fight the Brain King in a, a small arena. I mean, yeah, I already fight him in a small arena, but... You know what, whatever, I'll, I'll capture him. I don't find that it, that the invitations are worth nearly as much as the uh as doing some of like the eldritch stuff but 
I think I still have a bunch more point, like, uh, Atlas passive points to get from doing the invitations, so I should keep doing those. What is... Oh. I was wondering where all these orbs were coming from. Nope. Don't want... Some, the start of this song reminds me of... I'm going to restart this song, actually. Okay, parts of the start of this song remind me of one of the themes from Top Attention Gurren Lagann. Or just Gurren Lagann, if you're more familiar with that name for the anime. Big mecha anime. I'd love to play the actual theme, but I don't like to compare them, but I don't think I can do that on Twitch. Yeah, got a hand. When I was talking about the stuff that's familiar, I just mean the stuff before this. Wait, what was that? Oh, strong box. I like strong boxes. They're boxes and they're strong. Oh, the explosion killed my totems. Ooh. Nice. I like maps. Whoa. Laggy. Is that a Praxis I picked up? No, I don't think that's a Praxis. No, Praxis looks a bit different. Take a scroll of wisdom, please. Va Valerium. Okay. Okay, whatever. Oh, I love having four shrine effects on me. See if I can get more. Oh. Ah, yeah. I almost walked away from the Harbinger. Oh, it's the Blind Amulet. Never understood that one because it reflects blind to you. Or does stuff based on when you're blinded? Let me check. I mean, the scroll of wisdom. Okay. There's always scrolls of wisdom on the ground. Relation <laughs> charm. Blind does not affect your light radius. Blind you inflict is reflected back to you. Chance to gain frenzy charge and hit while blinded. Blind enemy is on hit.
Huh. That actually seems decent, because Frenzy Charges can be really powerful. That'd work really well with, um... Uh, whatever the thing is that blinds you and increases your attack speed when unarmed. It's a keystone. It's the its name is slipping my mind right now. Where the fuck? Oh, he's right here. Just wondering. Did I clear base? I cleared basically the entire map looking for the Brain King. Man, he took like one, maybe two hits before he was faced. Only problem is that I freeze him so he gets locked in place. Uh oh, I added the shaper to this. That's what's going on. Oh yeah, I think he healed the Brian King. No. There we go. Needed to just get one good hit on him. Hmm, that's a nice mineral pulse. I already have one of these, apparently. I probably could have ended that instead of destroying it, but I'm too impatient. Harbingers. Maps. Sure, I'll steal the temple boss too, why not? Okay, and now for my stream to freak out horribly because I've spawned Delirium. And there's lots of shit going on. I'm just going to push it a little bit. I'm going to get, since I have this currency with it, I'm going to get to three. Or tier three. And then I'm going to end it. I do wish my computer was better able to handle path. Things like delirium. Actually, it's the stream's okay right now so far. It's doing okay. Okay. Delirium orbs seem to be worth more this lake. I don't know why. Yeah, this is worth tw this is just worth twenty. A lot of last league, the delirium orbs were worth like six to eight C, and they're worth like twenty now, even the crappy ones. Don't know why that's so different. 
It's because you can juice things so much now with the uh, Wildwood that people are just really pushing Delirium too. Also, more people probably have adapted the um, uh, Endless Tide, which is the Delirium Fog in your maps never dissipates. You cannot find Splinters or Delirium Orbs. Really good way to get Cluster Jewels. If I had not burned myself out on crafting Cluster Jewels, I would totally do that, but I have burned myself out on crafting Cluster Jewels. I'll go back for him later. Oh boy. Now things get tricky. The graphics card is so angry now. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Okay. Oh, Ice Nova. Ow. I'm doing pretty good for having below-capped lightning res still. I really need to fix that. I'm going to fix it off-stream when, like, I'll sit around. When I have time to sit around and wait for people to respond to me but trying to buy currency. I don't really want to have to buy currency on-stream. I'm sure you all know how painful buying currency is in this game. It's too bad that there isn't an auction house that's on console that you could totally port to. So the main game where you could just buy currency in seconds without people having to be online. Huh. I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with that. I would love to know their justification for why console and some parts of PC are allowed to have it, but not others. I believe there's a specific region that is able to have a, a auction house of some sort. I believe. I'm not going to say that with absolute certainty, because I can't verify it, but I believe one of the regions is able to have it. For some reason. You know what, actually, let me verify that so that I'm not spreading rumors. Yes, okay, on the Chinese server, there is an auction house. As well as on the Xbox and PlayStation servers. Just not on any of the other servers on PC. I don't, I don't know why. I feel like whatever they had to do on the Asian server was a compromise that they didn't actually want to do. And that's why it's there, but nowhere else. Ooh, forgotten. And a Velco sign. How much are the forgotten worth? 20C, nice. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the start, since there's an ultimatum there and the Wildwood. I'll do the Wildwood first. Ooh. 
Wisps. Wisps. I love collecting piles of wisps. It's so satisfying. It's one of the reasons I'm really sad that this place is overtuned. Because I would love to like come in here first and foremost. But I can't both do tier 16 and do Wildwood. They just are not compatible with this build. Okay, survival. I like survival. Hopefully it's not too hard on the on my graphics card. Ah. Yeah. Mm. This is getting rough. Already. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I don't need to take a ton of risks. As it stands, I'm already, already at 32% XP, so 94 is a lot closer than I ever would have expected it to be by the end of the stream. Ooh, that looks nice. That's actually a very nice ring. Let's look into that and how well that's going to roll. I should really be using my dump tab. <laughs> kind of the po the purpose of the dump tab is so that I can put this shit, this big shit, in there, and not have to worry about it. Okay. Do one more map. Hmm. Which one's Mineral Pools? Oh, Mineral Pools is... Hmm. You know what? No, I yeah, I'm gonna go searching X Arch because I don't want I don't want the Mineral Pools laser boss to be in the invitation. I don't I don't like laser squid. Ew, red milk. Rectin nest. Uh. Oh, the hoarder, nice. That is one twelfth of an exalted orb. I wish I could see on the creature how many wither stacks it has. Because having to just guess kind of sucks. That always ex that's always exciting when I hear that sound, but it's just another unique contract, which is not valuable. I don't think. Pretty sure they have no value. I'll check in a second. No. Wrong thing. Oh, they went up. There were two chaos now. Rather than just one or less. 
That's nice. It's like, oh my gosh, you got something that's on par with a exalted orb. No, I didn't. Looks like the uh, unique from it's worth about 10c, though, which is nice, I guess. So specifically farming a boss for a 10c drop does seem a bit overkill. Cool. Oh, um, things that give Malachi's endurance. I haven't seen any Searing X Arch altars so far in this map. That's sad. I need to get my Searing X Arch uh, points back in. I don't have any in this in yet this league. Yeah, cuz uh, there's some over here. Nope, that's ritual. Hmm. I do want Wrath of the Cosmos and I'm going to want uh Light of Dawn to spawn and I'll to spawn altars more reliably. Okay. I'm kind of just wasting my shrine buffs, but whatever. I'm a bit worried about this boss, though, because usually as soon as it lasers me, I'm in trouble. I'm just going to hide over here. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is tier 14. Okay, I guess I am just that strong. Felt like it went down really easily. <laughs> I guess I probably don't have any boss buffs either. Yeah, there's no life buffs on this. Indigon? No. Void gaze. Void gaze isn't bad, especially if you can corrupt it, since now that enchantments aren't really a thing that people do anymore, uh, corruptions on helmets are way more valuable. Because everyone's going for corruptions now, because, I mean, the difference between a helmet with an encrypted implicit and the helmet with a without an encrupted implicit is just... Power. Like, it's just straight-up power increase if you have the money to buy it and to augment it to be the right stats and stuff. Plus, you can increase the quality of a uh, piece of gear that is corrupted much easier than a piece of gear that's not corrupted. Okay, Massive Shrine. Oh, Massive Shrine and an Impenetrable Shrine. That puts me at 7,000 effective life. My character's so big. Yay. This map is bigger than I thought. A lot bigger, actually. Defeat Rogue Exiles, Archaic Anarchy. Okay. 
Guess I defeated enough rogue exiles. Ooh, drop chaos, chance to drop chaos orbs. I I was gonna say I wish that happened earlier, but you know what? A four chaos orbs, that's great. <laughs> that's totally, totally worth it still. Because, like, you can still have, like, a few percent chance to get it and still just get none, so. I mean, that's that was pretty good. That was a lot more triggers than you would expect. Oh, Forbidden Tome, nice. And another Chaos Orb. Good old Corbs. Cool. Now into the wild would we go. Let's see if I can make use of the Corb Chance. I'm pretty sure that I benefit from it even in here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I definitely do, because the map mod- the, uh, fr freezing ground is- the chilling ground's here, which means that, uh, it's affected by map modifiers. But I guess it doesn't prove that it's affected by the Eldritch map modifiers, but... Ooh, experimental harvest. These are always worth like 10 to 20 C. Very good. Yep, that was worth a lot. That's like 20 C. Those scale up really nicely with uh, map tier. Oh, there's a warden here. That I did not notice till now. How are you, warden? Anything that's valuable? Ooh, supposedly this is valuable. Oh, max tier phasing. Damage enemies on low life, and damage hits while stun enemies that are on full life. That's really good. Grab you. How much are you worth? 5c. Which, what about you? No. No. Yes, 20c. Cool. Lots of money. Ooh. Wisps. Supposedly there's ten more monsters, which I assume are right here-ish? No. Think I've seen any ultimatums in this map? No, because like I think I'd be able to see the trial master on my map if he was here, or Cassia, or any of them. Well, whatever. Ooh. Man, this has been a real, like, up and down stream, I gotta say. A lot of things have been happening. Honestly, I'm so happy. I've made so much money this stream. It's just unbelievable. It's just, it's so ridiculous to have gotten a 40 plus div drop.
Do I still? Yes, I do still have it in my inventory. I think it's just about time to call it. For those on YouTube, thank you for watching. Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more cool content. And for those on Twitch...